Truthfully, as carnivores, Emma and I rarely need to snack. We're just not hungry, but it is nice to have some convenience foods around, especially if you're traveling or on the go or you wanna grab something quickly. So in today's video, Emma and I are gonna show you six, actually seven, carnivore snacks, some really creative ones too, and we have a lot of fun along the way. And please note, we are not an affiliate for any of these. We're not getting paid to endorse any of these. This is all of our honest feedback. A lot of these are homemade, a few of them are products. Let's get right into it. Okay, now I'm gonna try the sardines. So if you're new to this channel, I was a vegan for five years and I'm a carnivore now. Okay, so these are cage free, which I really like about it. If you are new here, we are compassionate carnivores where we only eat animals where we know it's from and where it's humane and that they aren't cage free or live a terrible life. So we eat our eggs, our neighbor eggs, Costco. These are from Costco. So now we're going to be making these little butter, butter bites. They're so good. Oh my gosh, Grandma Liz, thank you so much. She made it. She made us some yesterday, it's amazing. Literally tastes just like candy, oh. We're gonna be using our favorite Kerrygold butter. We get this at Costco and we don't need this much, so I'm gonna just eyeball it. We have a little pan and we have to brown it. Now we're gonna just brown it slightly, stir it up, and you wanna watch it very closely, and then we're gonna pour it in this. Turn this on medium-ish. Emma, you can do the honors. Yeah, so Emma and I made a t-shirt. We'll have a link in the description below and it's under the video. It was, um, we were talking, I said to Emma, I'm like, you are a compassionate carnivore. We're only getting meat if it's responsibly and humanely oh, yeah. raised. Only so where we know where it's from and that it had a good life. Most of our meat we get from our neighbors. They do organic, grass-fed beef. We're so blessed. They're right down the road from us. They're good prices. Or we've been getting, uh, b before that, we get a lot of our meat from Costco. And Costco has some pretty good standards in terms of humanely uh, raising their meat. We're gonna run out, we didn't do enough. All right, let's put it in the freezer and then we'll check back. Okay, so these are the butter bites we made. Carnivore Grandma made us some before and they're absolutely delicious. They taste just like um, caramel or toffee. And now we're gonna try the ones that we made. They look like this. I think the ones with more brown taste the best. It's so awkward eating on camera. Tastes like salty, literally tastes like salted caramel. Okay, so the most important thing on carnivore is to get enough fat, so these are really convenient and easy. Okay, so the next snack is beef jerky. It's very convenient. We made it a while back ago. You just put it in the dehydrator. A few weeks ago, we did an entire video making beef jerky homemade right here on the homestead, so I will leave a link to that in the description below. I already was curious and I ate one and it was amazing, but these are just made out of the element. L-M-N-T, element. That's the element, you guys have probably heard of it. That's one way to get your electrolytes. So we use that for electrolytes, or we use this. This is keto chow. And we put that in our water, or you can use these. A lot of uh, carnivore people on YouTube use these. The only thing with these that I don't like is you gotta watch them because some of these have like a half a carb. But for this whole thing, we used a half of these, so that would be a half of a half a carb, a quarter of a carb, and then it got mixed up, so each one of these is probably like one sixteenth of a carb. Get it frozen. I gotta try one too. And we, we just got these containers from Dollar Tree, a dollar twenty-five. Ooh. Ooh. That's the that's the what was it called? I think this is citrus. Citrus, yeah. Tastes like lemonade. Tastes like lemonade. It's got a, man, it's a concentrated kick to it. If you want something different, so these come in all different flavors. We're not an affiliate for them or get anything. Uh, they sent us a big box, so we tried it. This one's mango chili. Could you imagine that one? But uh, my favorite so far has been the watermelon. You have to be careful with these. Again, we're not affiliated. Emma, let's tell them a quick story about what happened with you the other day. Um, it was a very hot day and I drank way too much of these. Yeah, you got to be careful with these. And this I had way too much butter bites and lots of salt. 1,000 mg sodium per packet. Uh, remember though, these do have an artificial sweetener in it and uh, that makes me a little uncomfortable. So I'm not having these anymore. I'm back to these. This is what I took the whole time in the first week on carnivore. This will help you avoid the keto flu. It's all the necessary electrolytes you need. These are really good though. Yeah. Ignore the sizzling sound in the background. We're reverse steering some steaks right now. Emma, what's up? 
Nothing much. Emma gonna try carnivore snacks. is going to try these carnivore snacks. Tell us what you think, because you've already had these. Honest review, carnivore snacks. And you went hiking? Yeah. So you grabbed one of these. These are great for something like that. Otherwise, honestly, if we're being honest, right, we very rarely snack. You eat a big steak and you're not hungry. Yeah. It's only two ingredients. That's the cool thing. It's 100% grass-fed and finished beef. And we were thinking about offering these at the movie theater, but they're just too expensive. Because it's really good ingredients, it's, of course it's going to be expensive. So these are regeneratively raised in the USA. No additives, no seasonings, no marinades, no sugar, no fire, no grill, no steak knife needed. It's not jerky. It's not your average snack. It's just meat and salt. It looks like a potato chip. Oh, I wonder if it's like a gyro. You've never had a gyro either, have you? No. Go for it. Is it crunchy? It just tastes like a plain chip, which is good. It's like a potato chip? Plain chip. Is it good? Salty plain chip, yeah. I think it's actually better than this one. Let me see. It's, it reminds me of one of my favorite things. I don't like ground beef. I like smash burgers and you get that crusty edge. This, this is like that crusty edge. This is very good. Yeah, it kind of tastes like ground beef. We're giving honest reviews here. I wasn't a big fan of the ribeye. It was okay. It was kind of a little greasy. That was very good. Now Emma said, her, wh oh, which yeah, one do you like better, one. pork loin or this one? The lamb slider now. Because this one's just too crunchy and it's hard on my braces. I haven't had the lamb slider. I haven't had this one yet. So this is a pork loin. Let's see, you got the good fat on there. Yeah, I like those ones. I like that too. I kind of like these. This is the most snack-like to me. Most carnivores don't eat snacks, but it is really nice to have if you don't want to cook up a whole steak and you just want to uh, eat something. Or if you're traveling, it's really good if you're traveling. Just bring it with you. Um, Emma's going to eat the whole bag now. Okay, so the other snack is bacon. You just cook it up in the air fryer. You can cook it in the oven super quick, and then you can put it in a bag, and it's just like chips. We don't really snack that much on carnivore because... I don't know, we're not that hungry, but anyway, it's a great snack. You can just put it in the fridge, open it up, taste just like chips. Great and convenient. Okay, so this is the next one, the sardines. I haven't ate it my whole life. Have you ever ate it? No, I'm scared. I've seen so many things about sardines where they it's like the whole body of the fish with the bones. I know, I'm a big baby. You guys are probably... This one, so this one is the whole sardine. And this is from Wild Planet. This company is awesome. We have... The tuna from them, which is another snack you can salmon. take on the go. The salmon in a can. And you want to get the stuff that doesn't have oil in it. So this one's in water and sea salt. And the salmon we had was in water and this is in water. So this, this is a full sardine. This is skinless and boneless. Like all lined up. Mmm, juice. Mm. So that's just water. Okay. Okay, I'm smelling it. What's that black thing? Emma, I'm smelling it. What's that black thing? I don't know, that's part of it. It's probably an eyeball. Don't say that! Oh. Mm. What does it smell like? Describe the smell. Peas, kind of. Oh yeah, it smells like peas, like smells the like vegetables. green peas. Literally. Oh, that bite looks gross. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna try the sardines. You wanna do it? Oh. Is it good? Yeah, it kind of just tastes like <laughs> salmon. <laughs> I thought you were going to get sick. It tastes like salmon? Mm-hmm. You going for another bite? It's not bad. No, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> it tastes like salmon and green peas. Salmon and green peas. It you know like what? I'm having a big meal. I'm just not going to look at it's it. It's so good for if you. I don't look at it and I just put it in my mouth. It's so good for you. So what's in this? It's got... 20 grams of protein, 1015 mg EPA, and DHA omega-3 per serving. It's got those yeah, omega-3s. That's, that's important to get. You're going to eat the whole can? Yeah. That's a true carnivore right there. So she was a vegan for five years. Now she eats different types of meat and everything, like gnaws it off the bone and doesn't waste any. None of this is going to get wasted. That's the compassionate carnivore way. Should we just leave it, do a little time lapse until you eat the whole thing? 
So this is from Wild Planet. Big shout out to these guys. They sent us some stuff in the past before. And uh, the salmon in a can was great. Their salmon They're is amazing. In conclusion, these are all our snacks. We don't snack that much on carnivore, but if you ever need a to go on the go snack, I really recommend these. And to everyone else who was terrified like me to try sardines, I say go for it. You can do it. I was very scared. Honestly, it's not even bad. It tastes just like salmon. like And it's amazing for you. Really good for you. One other thing that Emma and I have been working on is she's a compassionate carnivore. So we have the compassionate carnivore t-shirts, but we're trying to start a documentary about the carnivore diet. And we don't want to make a penny off of it, but it's going to be very expensive to do it properly. We want to get it on one of the big streaming services. And we want it to be with real people that follows a whole bunch of people over the course of an entire year doing carnivore diet, start, middle, end, whether they're obese or if it's depression or anxiety or arthritis. So the website's live. You can purchase Compassionate Carnivore t-shirts. Every penny of those goes towards the movie. If you go on the website, you can register if you want to participate and be in the movie. And you can donate. We have a GoFundMe set up. Every single penny from that goes right to the movie. We're not getting any of it because Emma and I want to help as many people as we can. I'm click on this video where I ate a $85 steak for the very first time. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video and please share it. It will really help us out. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.